Good morning guys. Welcome to day one of eating like a Victoria's Secret model for a week. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna put a little disclaimer out first. I don't know if this is gonna be a week exactly, only because I wanna get this video up, <laughs> and I feel like I'm not patient enough to do this for seven days. Like, I've never done something like this on my channel or, like, filmed an experiment type thing. Like, I truly want this to be an experiment. I'm going to stick to it, and we're gonna see what the results are. And what we're gonna do is I'm going to weigh myself right now. I'm going to do, like, a weigh-in. I'm gonna show you guys what I weigh, I guess, and um, actually film it, and we're gonna see if I stay the same gain or lose backstory i've already been on a diet i've lost about 40 plus pounds from my highest weight so i'm actually at one of the lower weights of like my lifetime <laughs> which is still not that low so i'm about five foot five foot one and i weigh about 135 pounds we're gonna see exactly what i weigh to a t and then yeah we're just gonna basically see what happens when i seriously follow the victoria's secret model diet do i gain do i lose i hope i lose 136.1 your girl gained a pound so total i've gained 1.4 pounds from my lowest weight on this diet so that sucks i'm on like a continuous healthy lifestyle but i gained 1.4 pounds from my lowest so i'm obviously doing something wrong so i am definitely going to try to get that off and go even lower than my lowest weight in this video i'm hoping that these foods and eating super clean will definitely help me lose that i'm technically being inspired by a model a day today's would technically be Romy Strid. I just watched her What I Eat in a Day video. She has a YouTube channel. And for breakfast, she makes this really good, tasty sounding oatmeal. I'm so excited to make it. And I cook it with the oats. I boil it for like six minutes, I think. So I'm starting with a mix of like goji berries, uh, pumpkin seeds. And the next topping I picked today is chia seeds. Then I'll add the blueberries. And then my favorite peanut butter. We're just gonna put some of these nuts right here. These nuts? <laughs> and then we're gonna add the chia seeds. So I'm not gonna make this like a full-on cooking video. That would be a really long cooking video if I made every single, whoa, I love my blueberries though, so that's totally fine, if I made every single meal. So this is my Romy breakfast. I'm so excited, this actually looks so good and it looks just like hers. Got everything on this spoon. That is so much better than regular oatmeal. I'm shook. I could literally eat this like every day. So I also forgot to mention she makes hot lemon water. So I just heated up a cup of water and I put some lemon in it already, but I'm going to put a little more right now. So I just got back from the pool with Sebastian. We did some swimming. Some of them like do certain things. Some of them swim. Some of them like work really hard. So I just did some swimming today. It was really fun. Now I'm ready for my snack. For a snack, she said that she has strawberries and almonds because the fat in the almonds like balances out the sugar in the strawberries. So I guess you're supposed to like do that together. And then in probably like an hour, I'm gonna make some avocado egg toast. So I'm really excited for that. So now for lunch, we are making avocado toast on this protein bread. So I'm going to put hummus, avocado, and then an egg on top, and then of course some salt and peppers. shower and hung out for a little bit and now it is time for lunch which I was honestly the most excited about for today look at that this food is like full of flavor so delicious so whatever this girl's doing she's doing it right this is the snack pre-dinner so I have green tea super antioxidant that's from Trader Joe's and then I have the rest of my avocado that I didn't use for the toast and then the cucumbers and the carrots that she suggested so this is super healthy not gonna lie I really want unhealthy stuff right now Sebastian's making a pizza and I am Eat this. extremely jealous <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Already. I don't know why. Why? Why am I like this? Do I like food that much? We're about to go grill some fish right now. I know that in Romy's What I Eat in a Day video she just posted, she doesn't talk about salmon for dinner, but that's like a common theme of like Victoria's Secret models in general, and it's a really healthy. Plus, she had a sponsor for her dinner. Like, what she ate today was like from a sponsor. So, you know, it wasn't like completely real, and I like didn't want to recreate the eggplant thing that she made. I totally forgot to buy eggplants and stuff. So, I'm just going to have this salmon filet, and then it's a little bit later, like I said, than I wanted to eat. So, I'm not going to have anything else. I'm like too lazy to make any 
anything for the side. The next day. 135.7 in a day. So I dropped 0. 0.4 pounds. Not bad. Good morning, guys. Day two of this experiment. I just showed you the clip where I weighed myself. So yesterday I was 136.1. Today I am 135.7. I think that's actually pretty good because I have been plateauing so much. So it's like a decent drop. I think come Saturday morning I'm going to do my final weigh-in. It's Wednesday right now. So it's not going to be a very long time. But I'm really curious. Like, am I going to stay the same? Am I going to gain? Am I going to lose? I don't really know. But it was really nice to see a 0.4 pound loss. And my tummy in this area. Like my little, this little line right here on my tummy makes it look like I have abs. But I don't. And it starts to show more. I've been loving this so far. I feel great. I felt so good. I wanted ice cream last night. But I didn't do it. I didn't let myself have ice cream. Because Victoria's Secret models don't eat ice cream all the time. I'm about to go to the gym right now. Got to get on my gym shoes. And then I will be off to do a little bit of cardio. But first, we're going to make some breakfast together. Today is Candace Swanapool. Did a little research, few things she said, and I gathered a day worse of eating than it sounds like she does. For breakfast, she has bacon and eggs. I'm not going to make bacon. I'm going to substitute like her meat for coffee. It doesn't really fit. But for lunch, we're going to have a heavier meal. We're going to have something with meat. I don't know what I'm going to make. I don't know how to make anything but salmon, but I had that last night. So I'll figure that out as I go. But a bigger, heavier lunch and then a very light dinner. We're going to go to my favorite juice bar that's local. It's called Pope and they have an amazing protein smoothie. So I'm going to go get that for dinner. I feel like my body's going to get used to it starting today. So really quick too, before we continue, I know I'm not a Victoria's Secret model. I'm literally five foot. So I definitely know I don't look like these models and I never will, but that's okay. We're all beautiful in our own bodies. We don't need to look like Victoria's Secret models. This is literally just an experiment. This is for fun. We're all different. We all come in different shapes and sizes and you know, we're all built a certain way and we're all freaking great so we don't need to try to aspire to be models who are probably not being the best to their bodies at times models are amazing you're amazing I'm amazing just love yourself boo boo just get yourself into the healthiest you that you can be because it did feel really good eating such healthy natural products yesterday like I want to continue doing it now in my everyday life and I probably will and I always have a big breakfast breakfast is like my favorite meal of the day I'll do like eggs and bacon and the whole lot. <laughs> so this is gonna be whoa I'm having eggs but I'm just having eggs like I said I feel really guilty for like skipping the meat but it's okay this is still gonna be really good I actually have three eggs here it's kind of a lot and then I have my coffee so I have eggs and coffee for breakfast seems like something Candace would do she likes big traditional breakfasts like that breakfast is breakfast is mm, pretty good Probably during lunch I'll do something heavier so that my body has time to burn it off. I think that I'm going to have a power crunch for lunch. Obviously this isn't exactly what she does, but she doesn't specify as much as the others. So there's 13 grams of protein, 5 grams of sugar in here. So this is just going to be a nice thing to fuel me through the day. And then I'm going to go in here and grab one of my healthy choices. This is not sponsored. I feel so like sponsored right now. This is not so bad for you. It's definitely the more like healthy version of the healthy choice meals. Nothing artificial you can see right there. So it's 190 calories for the whole thing 28 grams of protein gotta have some water got to drink a lot of this through the day also when I eat I take my Flintstones complete vitamins is this a throwback for any of you guys I still take them so I'm gonna eat all of this I'm gonna be fueled I'm gonna feel good and healthy and then I'm gonna go run some errands so I'll check back with you guys later that my body has time to burn it off and um, nighttime something lighter. Okay guys, so I have got to my location. I'm about to get my smoothie. I'm getting the closest one to what she has. Candace Swanapool reveals, I literally took a screenshot of this from a YouTube video. Her secret smoothie recipe, it's one frozen banana, one teaspoon of protein powder, one cup of blueberries, chia seeds, almond butter, coconut water, and spirulina. Now that's a little bit difficult to get that exact smoothie somewhere, so I'm definitely gonna get, I think they have like blueberry monster here, and it has like protein and blueberries and bananas and all that yummy stuff. So let's go. We are having a blueberry banana protein smoothie with a ginger shot for dinner. We're not gonna eat for the rest of the night, maybe. I don't know. And this is not promoting like not eating. This is like literally an experiment and I'm not promoting any diet to you other than healthy abundance goodness for your body. Thank you. So let's try the shot. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my God. But the smoothie tastes delicious. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Should I just go for it? <laughs> I'm gonna throw up, and I'm sorry that I'm have a straw. They didn't have anything other than plastic straws. Okay, I should probably go home now. <laughs> I don't need to be sitting here eating my dinner. Early the next morning. This just said 134.8 two seconds ago. I don't know what's real now. Day three. So I just got up and the first thing I did was weigh myself. So that's what I've been doing. Even though I told myself I wasn't going to because I know things fluctuate, things change. And you shouldn't weigh yourself every day. That's not a good thing to do. It's also bad for your mental because you're just like, why am I fluctuating? And then you start like tripping out about it. But really it could just be something so simple as like water weight and things like that. Anyways, I weighed myself a second day in the row. I got really excited at first. I promise you and I didn't get this on camera because I just assumed my weight wouldn't change. So I literally go to weigh myself without the camera and it said 134.8 And so I was like, oh my god, like two days ago I was 136.1 Like this is awesome, this is working And then I literally got my camera and got ready to record that Stepped on it again and it said 135.7 Which if I remember correctly, that's what I was yesterday So now I'm confused, what do I really weigh? Am I fluctuating? Like what's happening? The only thing that's a little different about my experiment is that I'm on a weight loss plateau already Like I'm plateauing, my body doesn't want to get rid of any more fat So it's really hard Hard. It's a little discouraging, but at the same time, you can't weigh yourself every day, especially only being on a certain diet for two days and think like things are going to be totally different. So it's a very interesting experiment. But today is Stella Maxwell, and for breakfast, we're having eggs and avocado, then we're having yogurt and granola, and then we are having chicken salad. So super excited for that. Honestly, sounds like a great day. Gonna try not to eat anything other than what she eats. I kind of eat in moderation. I don't think it's good to cut anything out 100% or go on some crazy diet. For breakfast, she routinely enjoys having scrambled eggs with avocado or oatmeal. Sorry I'm outside, I hope it's not too loud. I just wanted a little change of scenery and I wanted to eat out here today. So right now, this is Stella Maxwell's breakfast. I have eggs, avocado, and lemon water. I don't know if she drinks lemon water, but I know all the angels do. But honestly, sunny side up eggs gone wrong. <laughs> That's my attempt, okay. This breakfast is honestly so good. This is what I'm gonna be eating now. I have healthy fats, proteins, and lemon water, good for your metabolism. So we're getting the day going. Yogurt with granola is another one of Maxwell's go-to morning meal. So it's time for a snack. She eats this for breakfast usually, but I thought I would just make it a snack. And I had my avocado and egg earlier for breakfast. And then it says that for lunch, she has like protein and salad, but I'm gonna do that for dinner. This is my light and fit Greek yogurt strawberry cheesecake. It's 80 calories for the whole thing. There's seven grams of sugar, which isn't the best ever, but it's gluten-free and it's probably the better option out of all the yogurts because usually yogurts have even more sugar than that. So I'm so so excited to eat this and this was the granola that I put on top holy crap this is so good so freaking good it's like cinnamony chocolatey peanut buttery but also strawberry cheesecake like I've just been having a good time with this like this is not hard <laughs> oh and I am drinking this religiously all day having my lemon water being healthy moving to lunch she sticks with proteins like salmon or chicken alongside a salad chicken with it so I could try to pan cook chicken or I'm just gonna have turkey on the side to get my protein in because it's close enough to lean chicken and I'm going to put it with some kale and some organic baby spinach in a bowl and I'm gonna put the goddess Trader Joe's salad dressing on top of it I'm so excited I really never made a salad at home so oh you guys look how yummy this looks so I could honestly put some blueberries in the salad but I think I'm gonna refrain from that although it could be very good so I honestly just might then I'm gonna dump all of this in here da 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 and the final product is ready. Okay, I don't know what accent I'm trying to do, but you know what I'm saying. Let's try some. <gasps> oh my god, I feel like freely. I feel like literally so good about this choice. The bell pepper. Mmm. I'm putting like all the rest of the bell pepper in. I don't think you can have a salad without bell pepper. That was too fire. I don't even need the protein. So that is everything I'm going to be eating today. And next time you see me will be tomorrow. And it's actually going to be the last day because I do want to get this up at a certain time. But it's close enough to a week, okay? We've been doing this long enough. This is hard to do. Like it would be probably hard to do this for seven days because it's not very fun having to film everything that you eat. Uh, but I'm having so much fun because it's like with you guys. I'm hanging with you guys and I'm doing this for you guys. So it's really, really fun. 134.4. Woo! 
Woo, we're almost two pounds down. It is day four. I just weighed myself, as you just saw, and I was 134.4. So I have lost two pounds. Honestly, 134.4 is the lowest I've ever gotten on this diet. That is the lowest point. I'm at my lowest weight today since I've started my diet earlier this year. Or not diet, it's a lifestyle. It's definitely not a diet. And I just feel so good about it. I feel so happy. I mean, this is seriously the way to get healthy, honestly. Like, I love all the foods that I'm eating. It's all fresh. It's all natural. I'm like forced to actually cook and like prepare stuff, not just like heat stuff up in the microwave or have a snack, you know? And it feels so good. I just woke up, got in the shower, put just a light layer of makeup on, got ready for the day. And I am doing Josephine Scriver, I think her name is. Josephine Scriver. She's beautiful. By the way, I just wanted to point this out. There wasn't much diversity in the models that I chose, but that was literally because I didn't choose them. I just went off the videos I could find on YouTube that showed which models ate what. And these were just the first ones that I found and picked. So I just wanted to clarify that they were the only ones that I could find their diet. So literally all the Victoria's Secret models are beautiful. I wish I could follow all of their diet plans. Anyways, I'm super excited. So there wasn't much of a full meal plan for her, but I thought this would be fun because she does something called 80-10-10 or something like that, 80-20. 80-20 rule. Model Josephine Scriver told Birdie her travel schedule is so hectic that she treats food simply as energy fuel. She follows the 80-20 rule, meaning 80% of the time she eats healthy and works out and 20% of the time she allows herself to be more flexible with food choices. So it's 80% fruits and vegetables for the day, 10% fats, 10% proteins. Victoria's Secret model Georgia Fowler follows her own version of an 80% rule. She told Women's Health Australia, I try to keep it 80% fruit and veg, 10% fat, 10% protein. Okay, so I kind of got Georgia and Josephine mixed up and I'm just realizing this as I'm about to like finish editing this video. Um, but they both do 80-20, they just do it in different ways. So I guess that was Georgia's and Josephine's 80-20 situation, but I did Georgia's more. So sorry about that. I <laughs> got it mixed up. So I'm just going to kind of have fun with this, mainly eat just like natural stuff from the earth. Like I'm going to eat a lot of fruit, a lot of veggies. Honestly, I forgot about this. I'm going to have my cauliflower pizza because it's basically pizza made out of cauliflower. So that's vegetables. <laughs> the breakfast is blueberries, strawberries, and pineapple with some decaf coffee with oat milk, unsweetened cashew milk. So no dairy, no soy whatsoever because I just figured out that soy is probably what's causing my breakouts with sugar-free creamer and the iced coffee. So yeah, pretty simple. One thing I can say though is I took a sip of this coffee only, you know, eating what I've been eating for the last few days and it kind of made me dizzy and woozy because I don't have a lot of food in my system. It's just going right through me. So okay, it's about an hour later. I just took out the rest of the fruit bowl from the fridge because I didn't finish it earlier and I'm going to have some almonds with it as per usual to mix kind of the sugar and the healthy fat situation. Back in the fridge, it is lunchtime. It's about 1.15. Your girl is starving. So I'm going to reach for this cauliflower pizza, veggie pizza. So the crust is literally cauliflower. It's not bread. It's gluten free. The entire pizza is like 620 calories. It's not that bad. You can't smell it. You can't see it, but my house is smoking. I just like smell burning, but I'm like kind of used to it, honestly, from this oven. And then I looked and I realized the is smoking and the fire alarm goes off. It's like fire, fire. I'm so hungry. That's like all I wanted and it fits perfectly in with this day because I'm not trying to freaking eat more fruits and vegetables. <laughs> I want something that doesn't taste healthy, okay? Okay, so here's my substitute for the cauliflower pizza. I'm having spinach and tomato linguine and I'm having the avocado toast again. I needed some real food. My body was craving something hot and something with a little more substance. So this is what I'm having for lunch instead of the cauliflower pizza. Just know that if my oven was working, I would be having the cauliflower pizza right now. I have a makeshift tripod right now and it's like literally swinging back and forth like it's gonna fall. These are the healthy choices without like artificial flavoring and stuff. I am not sponsored. I feel like so sponsored. I've made healthy choice twice in this video. I'm also gonna have my bigger meal now because it is a common theme for Victoria's Secret models to be like, oh, I like to eat earlier in the day so that it has more time to burn off. Now I'm having a banana for a snack. This might be kind of gross, but I'm having peanut butter with my banana. I'm literally dipping it. <laughs> So it is almost dinner time right now. It is about like five or six-ish, I'm not even sure. But I'm about to have some dinner and what I'm gonna have for dinner is just some veggies, probably some like cut up veggies. I'm definitely gonna have some carrots and probably some cucumbers and tomatoes. Got my carrots and I'm gonna be nomming. So this is my last little snack and meal of the video. I feel like I've never really done anything like that on my channel and it felt so good to like do an experiment like that kind of. Obviously I don't know my final weight in yet. 
So for my first weigh-in on Tuesday, I was 136.1, and my weigh-in on Friday, I was 134.4, which, remind you, is my lowest weight on my diet because I was plateauing so hard. I literally broke my plateau on this diet. It feels so good. It feels so, so good. Um, there was plenty of times that I was super hangry, honestly. I was a little bit hangry today when my oven wasn't working because I know my boyfriend had, like, dropped pepperoni and stuff in the oven, and he needs to clean it, and so that's why I couldn't make it, so I was, like, getting annoyed, and, like, I usually don't get that annoyed. I just to make something else and you know like last night I was starving that I pretty much every night if I'm being honest with you I get really hungry but when I was doing intermittent fasting too and I stopped eating at 6 p.m. I was starving late at night like starving so I would go to bed hungry and it was like really really hard so that's something that I don't really like is like the extra added factor of like being hungry but at the same time like if you know you just ate and your body's like full of nutrients and like delicious foods that you just put in your salad like you kind of know that your body's probably craving like sugar or something unhealthy you know it's probably not that you're like literally hungry like dying for food because you just had a beautiful salad you know what I mean I was just so excited to wake up this morning and be down two pounds like so excited and I hope that there's some magical way that I will be 133 tomorrow morning but you never know I could literally gain because of water weight and things like that like I have no clue but I'm excited and that'll be like the last thing you see in this video but yeah I just kind of wanted to conclude it with us sitting down and talking about everything I really did enjoy their diet though and I think it's actually something that I'm gonna start incorporating in my real life because I was getting off track just a little bit I was eating a lot of like sweet potato fries like a lot I was eating um, sugar here and there just like occasional occasional fast food like maybe one day every two weeks but still like I wasn't eating any fast food before I just kind of stopped making my protein smoothies things like that I'm so motivated to get back into it I don't recommend starving your body in any way shape or form this might not be anything you want to get into cold turkey like say you go from a life style of like you just eating kind of whatever you want like this is something that would be way harder for someone that like consistently eats fast food or like loves their sweets which <laughs> trust me that's me that was me before 110 percent but the fact that like I've already been on a health journey and a diet like made this really easy for me so this might be different for other people feel free to try this diet if you want I want to reiterate that I am not here trying to promote looking like a Victoria's Secret model or doing intense things to get yourself to look like one and you know starve yourself in any way shape or Form, absolutely not I do not condone that in any way shape or form and come to watch their videos if they're truthful they actually do eat pretty good amounts and they eat really good stuff and it makes a lot of sense why they look the way they do they look amazing so yeah it was a really really fun experience I hope that you guys enjoyed this we're gonna do one final weigh in in the morning and then yeah that'll pretty much be it for this video I'm gonna continue eating my carrots probably gonna go cut up some cucumbers and you know I did work out two of the days out of four pretty hard like Victoria's Secret style but I didn't work out yet maybe I will still go today but I didn't work out yesterday so maybe if I did work out like yesterday and today and stuff like I would probably like lose even more so this diet works I love I stand I'm personally a fan of it also I'm not like promoting Victoria's Secret now I'm just literally like because they're models you know everyone's like oh my god their bodies are amazing and they do look so amazing so I'm literally just trying to follow their diet so this has nothing to do with Victoria's Secret as it has to do with like the models themselves and like eating so just remember that so my body has a habit of staying the same and then dropping rapidly and then just like plateauing. I'm telling you, I'm on such a plateau. So I woke up to the same exact weight I was yesterday. This is what my body looks like after a few days of this. I know if I weigh myself tomorrow and the next day and I keep this going, I will be 133 or 132. It's just my body holding on to the weight. So yeah, that is what the Victoria's Secret diet does to your body, I guess. And definitely makes you lose weight, especially if you're not on a plateau like me. Let me know if there's anyone's diet you want to see me follow in the future. If you want me to try going vegan for a week. Let me know if there's anything else. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below for me. So I know what to do next. Because this is super, super fun. And I have another video probably coming this week. That's like another experiment type video. And I'm really excited about it. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. Do not forget. And follow me on social media. The links will be down below in the description box. And turn on my notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching guys i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i will see your lovely beautiful faces in my next video bye guys